What if The Gilded Age comes up with a third season next year? It's a show about rich and powerful people, and in the second season, there will be a lot of exciting things happening. There will be drama, love, and betrayal set in a fancy and secretive time. The first episode of the second season already showed us glimpses of fancy parties and talks about hidden fortunes. The characters in the story are dealing with the ups and downs of life, and the season two hints at a lot of interesting and mysterious things to come. It's a thrilling journey through the lives of privileged people, where everything may not be as it seems. But would there be a third season? We need to wait and see how season two ends. The buzz is all about the tantalizing possibility of a third season, because the show's creative geniuses are not just hopeful, they're practically bursting with excitement. There's a huge historical backdrop behind the making of this series, which will also contribute a lot if a third season comes after season two. To give you a little background, life in the U.S. in 1860 was marked by a lack of significant change for most citizens, despite the country's growth. Homes lacked modern amenities, such as electricity and running water, relying on fire and candles for cooking and illumination. Transportation involved carriages or horses, and slavery was legal, overshadowing women's legal identities with coverture. College attendance was uncommon, and people tended to live close to their birthplaces. The Gilded Age, following the Civil War, brought substantial transformations. The era, characterized by technological, cultural, and political changes, saw the emergence of modern America. HBO's The Gilded Age, created by Julian Fellows of Downton Abbey, explores this period through the fictional Van Ryn and Russell families in 1880s New York City, depicting the tension between old and new money. Christine Baranski plays Agnes Van Ryn, a wealthy widow preserving family reputation, while Carrie Coon portrays Bertha Russell, a newcomer aspiring to enter high society through conspicuous consumption. The show delves into the extravagant lifestyles of the Gilded Age, addressing debates about wealth, poverty, and labor ethics amidst opulence, reflecting social and economic disparities. The Gilded Age also explores domestic service in the U.S., distinguishing it from the post-Edwardian England setting of Downton Abbey. The show reflects on the changing perception of domestic servants during the 1880s and 90s, often Irish immigrants or descendants of the formerly enslaved. Racial tensions increased during the Gilded Age, witnessing the collapse of Reconstruction, legal segregation, and the rise of the Ku Klux Klan. However, the era also saw the emergence of the black elite and middle class, a perspective often overlooked. Historical figures like T. Thomas Fortune played crucial roles in advocating for racial equality. The Gilded Age introduces fictional characters reflecting on the limited options and evolving aspirations of women in the late 19th century, exploring challenges in navigating societal expectations. The sexual double standard and inequalities within marriage, while a work of fiction, the show maintains historical accuracy, aiming to immerse viewers in the 1880s. Beyond entertainment, it encourages reflection on issues such as wealth distribution, race, and gender inequality, drawing parallels between the Gilded Age and contemporary challenges. The show also introduces us to the captivating Marion Brooke, a favorite of every viewer. Marion Brooke, played by the talented Louisa Jacobson, ventures into the realm of her old money aunts, brought to life by Christine Baranski and Cynthia Nixon in the lofty precincts of Upper Manhattan. Little does she know, a clash with the age-old do's and don'ts of high society awaits her. As Marion navigates this glittering yet treacherous landscape, audiences are treated to a dazzling array of characters. Among them, the formidable new money power couple George and Bertha Russell, portrayed with flair by Morgan Spector and Carrie Coon. As you can see, moving in with her old money aunts in Upper Manhattan, Marion navigates the intricacies of high society, encountering a cast of eccentric characters. Love, mystery, intrigue, and of course, jaw-dropping costumes <laughs> were hooked. When The Gilded Age first graced our screens in 2022, it immediately captured the hearts of history buffs and newbies alike. The series also swiftly became a darling among aficionados of upper-crust drama. Fast forward more than a year, and here we are. Since October 29, Season 2 unveiled its plot on Max. Naturally, our minds are already racing ahead to the burning question, will there be a third season? As the fan-favorite period drama graces our screens once again, immersing us in the scandalous world of 19th-century NYC's high society, 
the air is thick with speculation. Bertha Russell faces another setback in her quest for acceptance in high society, sparking a resilient fight that propels her into a leadership role by season's end. Meanwhile, Marion covertly takes up teaching at a girls' school, and Ada embarks on a new romantic journey. George Russell grapples with labor unrest at his steel plant, and Peggy transforms into an activist force. Will the ladies return for another social season, or will we be left yearning for more of the Gilded Age's captivating charm? Only time will tell, but one thing's for sure, the excitement is palpable, and we can't wait to see what unfolds in this next chapter of opulence and intrigue. So as you can see, there is a high chance of another installment in this series, but as of this very moment, it is completely in uncertainty. The producers and streaming gods have yet to make their pronouncements, perhaps waiting to gauge the viewership pulse of the current season before making a move. Now, Sonia Warfield, the co-writer of the show, is teasing us with the historical treasures uncovered in Season 2, leaving us craving more. And yes, she's dropping hints about potential character journeys that could unfold in a mesmerizing third season. Can you feel the anticipation building? But that's not all. The creators are already huddled together, coming up with intriguing stories that might just leave you on the edge of your seat. Suppose the Metropolitan Opera opening on the same night as the Academy. Could it get any more dramatic? David Crockett, the producer, and Michael Engler, the visionary director, are emphasizing the ongoing creative dialogue, promising us narratives that will be nothing short of spellbinding. To be honest, HBO has yet to declare the renewal of The Gilded Age for a third season. The culprit? The lingering sag after strike, throwing a wrench into the gears of official updates. And as for when a potential third season might grace our screens? Your guess is as good as ours. Season 2 is just about to make its debut on Max, and Season 1 made its grand entrance in January 2022. Factor in the sag after strike, and timelines become as elusive as the glitzy, period-specific outfits that grace our screens. If everything goes well in future, we might witness the unveiling of Season 3 in the winter of 2024 or 2025, given the current timeline of the second season's premiere on October 29. One thing's for sure, crafting this world of glamour and intrigue takes time, and we might just have to wait for the magic to unfold. Francesca Orsi, EVP and Head of Drama, HBO Programming for Home Box Office, spilled the tea to Deadline, and it's a roller coaster of anticipation. Francesca unveiled the truth about Season 3, and in her own words, they're in the midst of a grand assessment, juggling shows like a circus act. The criteria? A concoction of viewer numbers, critical acclaim, and that intangible buzz factor. Every show's got a mission, a price tag, and a whole performance review before they decide its fate. Now, you, the dedicated fan of the Gilded Age, HBO, desperately scouring the internet for a glimpse of Season 3, are left wondering if there's a trailer to satisfy your cravings. The answer? Nope, not yet. Why? Because the big shots need to shout from the rooftops about Season 3 before they unleash any sneak peeks. Patience. Now, on to the casting gossip. The Women's Health magazine tells you who might appear on your TV in the next season, reeling off the names of your favorite characters from the first season. Cue the sighs of relief. It seems like Marion, Agnes, Ada, Bertha, George, and Peggy are gearing up for another round. The creators are keeping the fan favorites in the spotlight, a nugget of joy for those invested in the characters' fates. Dear fan, brace yourself for the unexpected in the potential third season of The Gilded Age. The recent note hints at new faces, sudden twists, and unpredictability. Though the trailer is yet to come, the promise of intrigue and ever-changing dynamics ensures the drama, both on and off-screen, is far from over. Now, we want to hear from you. What intrigues you the most about the upcoming season? Which characters are you hoping to see more of? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to stay updated on all the opulence, drama, and secrets that await. Your journey through the Gilded Age is just beginning, and we can't wait to explore it together. Until then, stay tuned, stay curious, and stay gilded. See you in the next season.